um, I wanted to hop on and do a little video on making the little stuffed animals that are at Walmart right now for Valentine's Day. Um, a lot of people are taking these and they're putting a name on the tummy and um, the year on the foot and selling them. They, um, these little animals, they come from Walmart. There's a bunch of different ones. Um, there's like a panda and a puppy and a dinosaur and a few other things. Um, they're $2.98 at Walmart. And like I said, a lot of people are selling these for Valentine's Day. So um, I personally um, use my heat press to apply the HTV onto them. Um, I've seen a lot of people using their hair straightener. Um, a regular iron would work too. Um, I just happened to have my heat press cranked up the other night when I was um, practicing on my first one and it worked great for me. So I wanted to show you how I apply um, the names with my heat press today. So um, the first thing, a couple things you need to know is, the, is that glitter HTV and flocked HTV work best on these guys since they're fluffy and um, I, I tried regular HTV just to see what would happen and it wrinkled really bad and it actually like tore in a place. Um, so glitter and flock works best on like little, these little stuffed animals. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and hop, jump into it and show you how to, uh, show you how to use it in the heat press to apply it. Um, but be on the lookout though because I am going, doing another video after this one on um, these guys. I'm gonna show you guys how to shave down some of their fur a little bit. So be on the lookout for that. I just couldn't do it. It was, the video got too long because I tried doing this the other day and the video was way too long when I tried to do everything all in one. So, all right, I'm gonna show you, I gotta get situated I'm gonna show you how to keep press these guys. Okay. Let me fix this a little bit. Okay. There we go. Okay, so I went ahead, got the name ready and everything. Oh, and this, to show y'all this font is called Heartland and um, you can get it off defont.com. So, all right, so I just take it and place it where I want it on his tummy. Okay, now one little trick I start off with is to kind of get it in place because, like, right now, what it's doing is like I'll push down the name and then it like slowly comes up. I, I don't even know if y'all can see, but yeah, it's not wanting to like stick really well the carrier sheet isn't. So I place it where I want it and then I take the animal and I kind of push it up against the heat press just to, just for a couple of seconds to kind of get it to stick in place where I want it. Then I lay him on my heat press. I pull his little, I hang his head off the side, pull the little hands up and then I just give it a good press. Now, um, his, like his little feet, whenever you, you push down with his feet, or his feet just kind of go out of the way. I've never had an issue with the feet getting, sorry, I'm wiggling the, the camera. I've never had an issue with the feet getting in the way. Um, it's just it make sure that his head and his hands are hanging off the edge of the heat press. Hold it down for about 10 seconds or so. Um, and... There's the name on the tummy. Oh, I'm gonna show y'all how to do a foot too. Okay, so to get the gear on their foot, I apply it. I do the same thing to start off with. Be very careful not to burn yourself. <laughs> Luckily I haven't yet, but I could definitely see it happening pretty easily. Make sure that it's on there where I want it. Okay. All right, same thing. I just kind of press it up to the top, hold it for a few seconds to get it tacked in place, then I, now, now my press closes on their feet, it does not close on the actual animal, um, the animal's just too thick, but it closes on their feet, so I just pop it down for a couple seconds. Alrighty, and you've got the year on their little foot, and then the name on the tummy. Um, I think I know some other things I want to talk about. Um, oh, I, I saw um, that people were concerned about the heat press or heat in general, like ruining them. And as you can see, he's perfectly fine. He's not melted anywhere or ruined in any way. Um, I don't use a Teflon sheet. You obviously can. Um, I just 
didn't really see a need for it. Um, glitter, when I, anytime I've worked with glitter HTV, it seems um, that it, it hides any, like, because I know if you're not careful, you can wrinkle up like regular HTV glitter and flocked and stuff like that because it's thicker, I guess. It hides any kind of like wrinkles or anything that could happen, I guess, whenever you're pressing. So a lot of times when, I mean, I know it's a no-no, but I, I just press directly onto my carrier sheet. And like I said, it, um, you can't, it's not wrinkled or anything. Another thing people worried about is the HTV when you're using a heat press. Um, they were worried because these guys have like the grooves on their little tummies. Um, they were worried about the the vinyl getting into those grooves and I haven't had an issue. I know this is like hard to tell, but see, you can see how well it got into the grooves and everything and it presses really well into that. So, all right, well that's it. So, um, like I said, there's different ways to do it. I had my heat press cranked up the other night and it worked great. So I've continued using my heat press and um, make sure you use glitter or flocked. And I think that's it. <laughs> all right guys, if y'all have any questions, let me know and have a good day. Bye.